Hello, hello once again. Welcome to Frema Shows. Today we are going to make um, butter slice soup. Simple and easy if you live outside Ghana. I have my onions. I have two balls of pepper. This is garlic and ginger. I have my salt. This is shrimp powder. I have chicken, uh, cream of chicken. I have grove. Whole peel tomatoes. I have my tomato paste, which is left over, it's about half of this one. And I have my chicken, also nice, cut and washed. Let's get started. Before we start everything, I'm going to throw my nut, my ingredients into my blender. Okay. Now, post it. It's about. I'm going to take some of the grove, just about that, into my onions and garlic. And do so, I'm going to add one cup of water, one cup of water into the blender. Okay, let's blend it, then the, we get back together. Our onion, ginger, garlic, and grove is ready. I'm going to throw it on top of the meat. All right. Then we are going to add about a tablespoon of salt. Okay. This is my tomato paste. Let's count how many I'm going to add so that if you are doing at home and you are a bachelor, you know what to do. One, two, three. Four, five, okay, six. All right, so about seven teaspoons of tomato paste. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of water into my blender just to get the rest of them out. All right, let's leave it to cook. We're going to steam it for about half an hour. Then we get back to it. You can see our meat is absorbing with the stuff right now. So we are going to add our shrimp powder, okay? I have a tablespoon, I mean, sorry, teaspoon. So this is how much I'm going to add. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so now that I have the shrimp powder, I'm going to stir it a little bit. Make sure that it gets into it. Okay. Now let's leave it to cook or to steam. Remember, I didn't add too much water. As you can see, it doesn't have much water in it because the, the, the chicken itself has some water in it. So there's no need to add too much water. And especially if you are steaming the meat, you don't need to add too much water. So let's leave it to cook for about, I'll steam for about 30 minutes and we get back to it. So let's see how it looks. Nice. Wow. 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 I told you not to add too much water. You see how even I add it just the one that I put in the onions and garlic to blend. I didn't add any water, but you can tell how much it's still in. So it's, let's leave it to steam for about 10 more minutes. Then we add the next rest of the procedure. All right. I think it's ready. I'm going to add about a bowl of water into, remember we are making light soup, so add a whole bowl of water. Let's leave it to boil. Once you're waiting for the soup um, to boil with the water that I put in, I'm going to open the, uh, the cream of chicken. I'm going to put in the bowl. I get it all scooped into the bowl. I'm going to add about a half of a glass of water and mix it. I'm going to mix the water before I add it to the soup. Okay, make sure it's well mixed. It's not gonna cost any lump or it's gonna show any lump, but it's better you mix it before you throw it into the soup. Let's see how it looks. All right. Now that it's boiling, I just mix uh, my cream of chicken 
into a liquid. Make sure it's liquid like this so that there will be no lump in your soup. Okay. So we are going to leave it to cook for about 15 minutes. Then we're going to add our tomatoes into it. Let's leave it to cook and come here. All right. These are whole tomatoes. It's nice and peeled. So I'm going to throw in a blender. Okay. And we're going to blend it. All right, tomato is blend, nice and blend. So I'm gonna wait till the, the soup is boiled before we add our tomatoes. So let's see how it looks. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's getting to boil. So let's leave it to boil for about 15 minutes. Then we will add our tomatoes. So now we are going to add it to tomatoes. It's nice and blend. When you put the tomatoes in, allow it to cook and slow cook for about, I'll say 30 minutes and your soup will be ready. So let's leave it to cook for 30 minutes. Then uh, we'll get back to it. It looks nice, isn't it? Nice and simple for my backless out there. Don't go nowhere, I'll be right back. Wow, delicious. Our bachelor soup is ready, and this is how it looks. Nice, and very appetizing. Now we have our fufu. What is kokoyam fufu right here? So let's serve it. Remember, you were invited. I do want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. The video is also available on YouTube. Thank you. I enjoy cooking with you and I hope you enjoy cooking with me as well. It's bye bye for me. Thank you for watching. I'm still free my shows.